Hey everyone, in this video, we are about to discuss about how to switch between themes within a React project with the help of Tailwind CSS. And what we have here is a simple example of the same. We have a simple text data and the button which when click is going to switch between light and dark theme. And by default, it takes the device theme as the default input. Now my device theme is set as light. So we have our React project taking the light theme as a default input. And as I click this button, you notice that our entire React app has switched to dark theme. Similarly, if you click this button again, it is going to take you back to the light theme. And upon corresponding button click, it is going to switch the theme between light and dark modes. And switching this theme is not just restricted with this button clicks. Say for example, if you want your app to take the device theme as an input, you can also do so. Here my device theme is set as light. If we toggle it to dark mode, you will see that our entire React app also changes to dark theme. Similarly, if I switch back to the light theme, our React app also switches to light theme. So with this, we infer that our React app is also able to read the system preferences and adjust the theme accordingly. Apart from the user input, it also reads the input from the device as well. Moreover, it is not just between light and dark theme. Here we have a drop down option where we have another custom theme called the material theme. And if I click this, it is going to apply a new color scheme which I have already defined. So with this, you just no need to stick with light and dark theme. You can also have any number of theme data for your React app and switch them accordingly. Hope you got a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in this video. With this idea and without any further ado, let's get started. Here let's first start by creating our React project. Let me name the project as Tailwind CSS Theme Public and it is going to be a React project in the TypeScript variant. Here we have our React project up and ready. Now let's try running it. Here you can see that our React project is up and ready. Now let's try installing Tailwind CSS to our React project. And for integrating Tailwind CSS, I have created a separate video wherein we have discussed in detail about integrating React app with Tailwind CSS. You can check out the video tutorial by clicking the card at the top right. I will also leave the link for that video in the description as well. In this video, I will just briefly explain the integration process. You can just head over to tailwindcss.com. And in this example, we are using Vite for creating our React project. So under the framework guides, you can just select Vite. All you need to do is just run these two commands. And the third step is going to be updating the Tailwind config.js file. Here, just copy this content alone and inside the Tailwind config, update the content. Fourth step is going to be to update the index.css file. Okay, head over to the source and index.css file, copy the entire code and replace with this three Tailwind directives. And to make our React app to run at port 3000, I just mentioned the server port here. This time, instead of some random port, I am configuring a React app to run at port 3000. Now, after doing so, let's head over to app.tss file. Let's get rid of this entire code and create a new app component with the simple text hi. Now let's try to check whether the table CSS has been rightly installed. With this, we can infer that the Tailwind has been correctly installed in our React project. With this, we can jump into the next step of integrating light and dark modes. Since we are going to work with the Tailwind CSS, I just want to share a quick tip regarding the usage of Tailwind CSS classes. So here we have two identical components which are going to have same class names. It is going to have the same kind of stylings here. But as you notice that, Though the stylings are going to be one and the same for both these components, the Tailwind class name, what we have specified, has been shuffled from one another. Right? So if you are wondering for a way to format your Tailwind CSS classes, 
in a more standard way, then we have a solution for that. You just need to install this prettier package for Tailwind CSS. And after that, insert your project root directory. Let's create a new file and name it as prettier rc.json. Inside this file, just paste this code. Once you're done, if I now save or format our code, you will notice that all the class name which has been subbuilt is now perfectly aligned based upon the Tailwind directives. The order in which it is been aligned is based upon based upon these directives what we have specified. Instead, it is going to take the base directive, then the component, and finally we have the utilities. So this is going to be a simple tip where you are going to have the same formatting for all your Tailwind CSS classes. Well, now let's talk about switching themes in our React project. Basically, there are plenty of ways to switch between light and dark theme in your React project. First would be switching the theme based upon the device preferences. Whether your device is going to have light or dark theme and make your React app read the system preferences and adjust the theme accordingly. In that case, you don't have any manual or user input to toggle the theme. Your React project will take the theme data from the device theme. Or in the second case, you can have a toggle button or a switch button anywhere in your React project and adjust the theme according to that. In this case, we are not going to read the device preferences, rather we are going to take the input from the user and adjust our React app theme accordingly. But there is a third case where we combine the scenario of first and second. We have a toggle button to switch between themes based upon the user input. Also, our React app should be smart enough to read the device preferences and also adjust its theme accordingly. So in this video, we are able to address it one by one. So let's first start with the device theme, where our React app should read the device preferences and adjust the theme according to it. And for doing that, we make use of the dark colon syntax. Say for example, here in this case, we have specified the background color as a light red color. Here, let me provide another color for dark mode by mentioning dark colon followed by the color name. I am specifying that if the device theme is light, it is going to take the light red color or else if the device theme is going to be dark, it is going to take a dark red color. Alright, so let's see how it works. Uh, let's try running our app. By default, our device theme is set as light. So we have the light red color. And if I switch it to dark, you will notice that since we have provided a separate color value for the dark mode, we see that being applied when the device theme is being changed to dark. This seems to be quite simple and easy while working for this example. But consider building a large scale React project where we need to specify individual colors for light and dark mode to every component in your React project. So that may not be an effective way of handling theming in your React project. So in order to overcome that is what comes the second scenario where we take the input from the user. What we can do is we can either define the entire color scheme in a separate Tailwind directive file and call the corresponding classes based upon the theme data. And that is where comes the second scenario where we have a toggle button to switch between themes. So let's try to explore that. And here inside the test.css file, I'm going to mention all my color schemes which I'm going to use. And those color schemes are going to be inside the Tailwind base directive. So uh, I am going to make use of at layer base. So this is going to be a syntax where the BG color is the custom name what we have specified for the background color. And it is going to take an RGB or HSL value. So let me get the help of color picker. For the light theme, I'm going to have this value. So always make sure you just get rid of this comma separation while mentioning these numerical values. Okay. This is going to be the background color for the light theme. Let's duplicate this code. And for dark mode, let me specify some uh, kind of black one. So you can notice that VG color is going to be the color name, what we are going to define. So that is the only name we have. And based upon the theme data, whether it is going to be light or dark, this will give us the corresponding colors. If it is light, it is going to give us this value. 
or else if the team data is going to be dark it is going to give us this value what we have mentioned after doing this let's head out to the daemon config.js file inside this theme extend we need to specify the colors and the color name what we have given is bg color and we need to make use of this syntax to get the color values from our index.css file since we are making use of rgb we need to use this rgb wrapper and specify the variable which is bg color this alpha value is nothing but the opacity so that's the basic configuration which we need to do let's head out to the app.css file and here since you're going to toggle between the themes we need to have a state variable let's name the state variable as theme and the dispatch function as set theme and say that let me specify the initial value as light and i will make use of the another react hook which is use effect inside this use effect if the theme state variable is going to be dark i will add a dark class inside our root component for that you can make use of document dot document element class list followed by the method add and it is going to be the dark so i am going to add a class called dark whenever the theme is set to dark else I will just try to remove that class from the root component which specifies that our react app is going to take the light theme. Make use of the remove method pass in the parameter which is dark. Uh, let's create function which is going to name it as handle theme change. Inside this I mean toggle the theme and pass this function to the button click here let me have a button and you see the on click I'm going to pass that function and um, also make sure that you get rid of um, these color values you don't need to specify individual color values for light and dark modes all we need is just specify background color with the value what you have defined in the config file so this is the only color which we are going to specify in our class name and based upon the theme data it is going to switch between the color values or the numerical values which we have defined in the index.css file so based upon the lighter dark mode it is going to give us the corresponding values so um, here if you notice that if i click this toggle button the color value actually changes according to it so what we are doing here is whenever i click this button we are going to add a class called dark if the root component is going to have a class called dark we specify the background color value as some kind of a dark black color similarly if i click this again it is going to switch back to the light theme it is going to remove that dark class and if it is so it is going to give us this value for the bg color since we are going to make use of the bg as the background color for these two containers we see those changes being reflected as soon as we toggle this button though this seems to be working perfectly fine if I switch themes from our system preferences, it is not going to have any effect in our React project. But I just want our React project to read the system preferences and also adjust the theme according to it. And for doing that, we just need to create another logic over here. And to make that happen, I am going to have another use effect inside which let me get the help of mass media. And inside that, I am going to check if the prefer color scheme is going to be dark so this prefer color scheme holds the device theme data if it is going to be dark i'm going to make use of the event listener and the event is going to be the change and the function is going to be the handle change so whenever user toggles between the system preferences i'm going to listen to those changes and adjust the theme accordingly and inside the return statement of our use effect I am just going to remove the event listener and pass in the same function which is handle change. And inside this handle change function, if it has a value, I am going to set the theme data as dark. Else, I am going to set the theme data as light. So with this, you are able to toggle themes based upon the user input. And also, if you change the system preferences, your React app also changes according to it. So with this our React app 
is able to read the data from system preferences and also take the input from the user to toggle between light and dark modes. And it is not just limited to light and dark modes. Say for example, if you want to have another theme data called material theme, you can just go on providing any number of themes for React app. All you need to do is just add a logic to add and remove those corresponding classes inside the root component and the table CSS will do the rest of rendering logic behind the scene. So this is basically all about how to switch between light and dark theme within your React app with the help of Tailwind CSS. Hope you find this video useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you again in the next one.